In this video, we're gonna have a look at how to calculate the mean of a data set from a frequency distribution table. When we're using a frequency distribution table, the formula to calculate mean changes a little bit. So the formula is the mean is equal to the sum of the frequency times the score divided by the number of scores. So the mean symbol stays the same. On the top of our fraction, we add in the F, which stands for frequency of it occurring. The X do stands for the score. So it's frequency times the score. N still stands for the total number of numbers in our data set. So let's have a look at an example of how to calculate the mean of a data set from a frequency distribution table. So in our example, we have been provided with a frequency distribution table. When you get a question to do, you will normally be provided with these first two columns, the score and the frequency, and it's up to you to complete or add in the remaining two columns that you need to calculate the mean from the table. So the first column in the frequency distribution table is the score. So these are the individual numbers that we would have got if we had ungrouped data. But this time we've grouped all the force together and put them into our frequency distribution table. The second column is the frequency of it occurring. So how many times in the data set did the score of four occur? How many times in the data set did the score of five occur? And so on and so on. The next column we need to do when we're doing a frequency distribution table is we need to work out what is the score times the frequency. And we normally use the symbol fx to denote that that is what we're calculating. And to calculate the amount that puts into this column, we take the score and times it by the frequency. So four times one is equal to four. Five times two is equal to 10. Six times five is equal to 30. Seven times four is equal to 28. And eight times three is equal to 24. Now, once I have gone through and calculated what the frequency times the score is, I need to add up all of my total numbers and put a total down below. So total is equal to 96. So once I've completed the frequency times the score column, I need to go ahead and complete the last column which is the cumulative frequency. This column, I'm adding up the frequency um, at the end of each number. So the first one, I'm starting at zero, and the frequency was one. So zero plus one is equal to one. So now I need to know what is my frequency at the end of my next score. So starting with the one, one plus two is equal to three and I continue going down until I've reached my last score. So three plus the next frequency of five is equal to eight. Eight plus the next frequency of four is equal to 12. And then 12 plus the last frequency of three is equal to 15. And what the last number in the cumulative frequency column tells me is how many numbers in total I have in my data set. So this is equal to my n value within my formula. So now that I have gone through and completed the table, I can go ahead and calculate the mean. So the first step I need to do is I need to write down my formula. So mean equals the total of fx divided by the total number of numbers. So the total of fx is 96 and the total number of numbers is 15. So that becomes 96 divided by 15, and that is equal to 6.4. So the mean of the data in my 
frequency distribution table is equal to 6.4.